and welcome to Declutter Mate. This is episode 12. We're continuing our packing theme today, aren't we, Shirley? We are. How are you doing today? All right. Hi. I'm doing all right. <laughs> but are you ready now for your holiday? Did you pack your suitcase? Holiday? What, what is a holiday? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so depressing. You need to book a holiday so you can use these tips. Um, so we've, I told you how to pack your suitcase, so you're ready for that. Yes. But are you ready with your hand luggage? Well, and I want to know what you do, because I, I want to know a male's perspective on packing for your hand luggage, because men always seem to have less bags when they're going, you know? That seems to well, be I less. Think, I think we have, we have the advantage of not having to carry makeup and an additional handbag i think we're pretty okay with the one bag because we, d- well, we don't have to carry a bag around so unless we're, we're going to work but then that's the one bag that we have oh you have a man bag there's more man bags out there now you don't carry a man bag no okay we're gonna we're gonna get one him. episode of friends was good enough to turn me off the idea altogether <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so so funny right so we're gonna talk about hand luggage generally yeah. for people and we can even convert you We'll see. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I mean, yes. Yeah, so for women, you know, a lot of us now, especially I used to do um, business travel as well. So I used to, when I did business travel, carry two laptops with me. So I'd carry my personal one and my business one. I know it was crazy, but I had thin ones. Uh, but now I don't. So I just carry one laptop. And um, so that has to be with me. And for insurance purposes, obviously, you can't carry it in your suitcase. So you have to put it in your hand luggage. Um, I don't generally carry the charger with me if i'm going to back to the uk because i know there's another charger on the other side in case the suitcase gets missing but in other instances that charger is with me because you never know what will happen with suitcase the first is to get a good bag you want a bag that will um sit on your shoulders properly if you're only carrying one bag um and you want it to be comfortable and to be able to fit in the um containers on top of the plane what are they called overhead overhead compartments that's the word so when i'm traveling uh back home i take a handbag and a small carry-on suitcase but anywhere else i try and take one piece of hand luggage because you're going to be carrying suitcase and hand luggage and you might be traveling around so you have to make it a good bag a a bag that won't wear you out you don't want to be exhausted carrying that bag but also you don't want to be carrying too much stuff anyway so these are the things that i recommend you carry with you in your hand luggage um so first is the document holder um obviously so you need something to keep your passport your boarding pass um and those luggage stickers that they give are very important you know in case you do lose your luggage we we're emphasizing this because but you never want to be in that situation when you can't find them. Yeah, and, and actually the, the luggage tags is something that is super critical. I mean, you don't realize it until you run into a situation where you've lost your luggage. And then if you cannot identify it, yeah. it's a big problem. When you're trying to find your bag, you're in a completely different airport. You cannot go back and say like, well, that person issued me a ticket. Exactly. Go back to that person and ask them because it's going to be a nightmare to try and do that. In most places, uh, English is the first language, but a lot of places may, might not yeah. be. And it might be difficult to find your luggage. So... I mean, if we're flying with the, the national carrier here, you know, there is usually somebody who will help us. And for a lot of airlines, but you just never want to be in that situation. So with the travel document holder, if you get a good one, the one I have can hold currency. So I hold the foreign currency in there. And then the one that I'm departing from is in my main purse. Um, and then, you know, you have your international driving license. You have some of the loyalty cards you might need, e-gate cards, which we need. But nowadays we just use our passport or um, Amazon. Like a phone and stuff now, yeah. yeah. And then, um, yeah, you need your airline loyalty card sometimes as well because they need that. There's always some issues with your points. You can't miss out on your points. Um, and also because with passport holders, these travel document holders, it's great if you're a big family so you can have everything in one place. So it, it's better than throwing it into different bags. I have mentioned it when we talked about the, the suitcase one is carrying a shawl. So I carry a massive pashmina with me and it's essential for... Um, on the plane and off the plane when you're traveling so it, i use that in some blankets because i find the blankets have a funny t- smell to them from the cleaning and they're a bit itchy sometimes so they're on my feet but the shawl is wrapped around me to keep me warm you know when you're at the destination you sometimes go to places that are too cold because it's uh, you know because it's cold country or the air con or if you go to a religious place, you need to cover yourself. The shawl is just invaluable. You can use it for so many purposes. Or you can use it when you're going out at night, when it might be a bit cooler, you know. And it got, you know, have a nice shawl that is versatile. Also in the hand luggage, I carry all the chargers with me. So as I said, for the laptop, I do that. Also for my phone. And luckily you can, you know, in the a lot of airlines now, they have chargers you know a usb port so you can charge your phone on there so i always carry the cable with me um but carry the plug as well 
uh, you know, the plug that you might use or uh, like the British plug because that's usually on most of the planes now. So have that with you just in case. Yeah, I've got one of those. It wasn't really all that expensive. The sort of like a, It's a quick child plug. You can pull out like two, two or three different styles out of it. And so it kind of, that, that is actually, that just sits there in my travel bag like when I'm ready to go and then it's always there and I'm always carrying it because this is easier than figuring out, you know, which one to carry. And sometimes it, it has happened to me, right? Like where I'll be like, oh, you know, I'm going to a different country. I have to pick up a different plug. And then I least and I'm like, oh, oops I picked up the wrong plug yeah you know and that kind of thing so I've just sort of negated myself to that the other thing as well like for me now like actually I, I only need the one charger because my phone my iPad headphones everything like charges off of one plug it wasn't entirely for travel purposes that it, I strategized it that way but like it, it you know it's just one of those things and so now I have what I'll end up doing is I carry a spare cable in, in like my checked in bag just in case like you know whatever if I need it or something like that sometimes uh, when I had a laptop I don't use one now but when I did it was still like that it was always that decision do I need to carry this laptop like am i really carrying it for this because we have this thing where we're just attached to our devices we kind of like oh well, how will i check my email or how will i send this email if i don't have my laptop and like well okay if you're going to check your email for half an hour on one day during that trip like do it on your phone yeah, you and leave your laptop behind because it's one less um you know it's one less expensive item that you have to worry about carrying around leaving behind in the hotel or then you start carrying it all over the place and you're like well are you traveling or are you working like that's another thing like for me even with digital devices like review them like figure out if you really want to carry all this stuff you don't need to carry i mean like you don't need to carry all your ipads you know you know if you have if you take an ipad you don't need to laptop and you've got your smartphone anyway but for the same reason as you that i i I use the same branded goods and i've got multiple items now so you know you need always to charge your phone up because that's essential but then there'll be the you know the the ipad the the headphones the, you know all these things you never know when they'll run out like your phone as well so the one the one tip there for me i mean although it's a very apple centric tip but the the charge that comes to your ipad which is a little the, the heavier brick one yeah. yeah yeah it charges your phone like super fast yes. by the way and so carrying the ipad charge like my life is built around my ipad charger now because i don't i don't plug the the phone in the regular charger anymore like yeah. it goes through that it charges super fast which is great for traveling by the way you get these uh dual triple charger things uh, uh, there's a company called Anker that by uh, Anker A N K E R that makes like really really good accessories for for smartphones smart devices and everything highly recommend them i mean I, I even use their cables and it's fantastic they have these higher power chargers with this multiple um, USB ports in them. So if you're carrying more than one cable, you'll need one socket in the wall to charge your devices simultaneously. That's a, a brilliant tip. I think that's very useful, especially in this day and age. And if you've got families, obviously, that's a brilliant thing to then just charge everything all on the same one. Another thing is um, taking toiletries with you. So, you know, as we, we've we discussed it before, that, you know, when you're traveling, you never know if your luggage will go missing. So take things like your, you know, moisturizer because you need moisturizer on the plane anyway to keep your, you know, because of the the, the air mm. on the plane, it, it it's very dehydrating. So you use moisturizer on the plane. You can use that when you land, toothbrush and toothpaste. So carry those mini ones, travel ones, or keep it always with the travel bag that you take. Um, deodorant, you can get mini deodorants. Uh, a little, I carry a little hairbrush. You might not need to use one. Um, not enough hair for it. And then, you know, and makeup. So I always carry uh, mascara and eyeliner and lipstick with me on the plane. And then everything else is fine. It can go in the the luggage. And I have a specific clear travel bag that I've carried, you know, for years. You can find from a lot of the cosmetic shops. And I put all that stuff in there. So it's always there for me to just pick up and take when I need it. And the final thing is carrying two purses. So there's one purse for your home country's uh, currency and cards even though I don't carry all the stuff with me I, I, I declutter a lot of the cards from that purse before I've left and then another purse for um, the travel destination so everything's in there so you separate your life uh, in that way so I always recommend that as well for my hand luggage and if you're traveling for business a good thing to watch is up in the air with George Clooney and to see how he packs because that is the perfect way to pack and it's true um, and another thing I forgot to mention is that I take a pair of shoes with me so I'll wear save if it's um, I'm leaving from Dubai and traveling abroad I wear flip-flops all the way on the plane and I wear the flip-flops in the, the plane I carry a pair of socks as well to keep my feet warm but I have like flat shoes um, with me to change for the destination that I arrive in because it's usually colder in the other destination so either I, I, I carry sometimes I carry trainers but they're too heavy so I like carrying like flat shoes that I can just slip on and it'll cover my feet up for a while until I get to the, the hotel or you know my parents house or something so carry that but the flip flops are the best thing because they're so light and you know then when you swap your shoes when you're on the plane 
it's not going to be that heavy when you land. Do you know what I mean? I would wear loafers. Yeah, yeah see, they're, they're good shoes for, you know, when you land. So, yeah, so those are my tips for the hand luggage. Awesome. So you can find more information about the show, show notes, and all, everything else by visiting declutterme.com slash podcast. That's D-E-C-L-U-T-T-R. Uh, me dot com slash podcast and Shalina, if people want to reach out to you, uh, where do they find you? They can go to the website declutterme um, dot com, fill in the contact form, and I'll be happy to help. So if they need a bit of help with packing their hand luggage or luggage, or when they land um, and they need help to unpack all their stuff, they can always get in touch. That's it from us this week. Bye. Bye.